muchachos. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, juicy content. Thank you for your support. Some Patreon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe. And hit that like button. Today we got a, uh, this is a Jaideep, Maharina, and Nawaz talk about working with SRK on Rays. Uh, so this is an oh. old film back. Uh, Where's a tool? Uh, was, was he in Rays? It was. Yeah. Small okay. role. Um, this is for promotion when the film is coming out. Sure. Uh, and this is just a snippet about them, I guess, talking about it. It's two of whom are our dosties. True that. Uh, fantastic actors as well. Yep. And they have us to thank for that. Yep. Um, you're welcome, by the way. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> here we go. Another iconic film was Rais, which was with Shah Rukh Khan. That's a great film. experience. I really enjoyed that film. I that film was just like that. और उसमें कुछ था भी नहीं बड़ा उस फिल्म को रीजन करने का रीजन सिर्फ खान साहब थे पहला ही सीन सुबह सुबह 9 9:30 बजे के आसपास कॉल टाइम था बैठे हैं प्रेस करने सडनली खान साहब वॉक से माहौल अलग हो गया उसके बाद और मैं हाय सर हेलो सर बैठे सब ठीक है हां ओके आई एम ट्रेंड फॉर दिस और मैं उनको ऐसे ऐसे नजर चुका चुका के देखने जा रहा हूं सडनली इट ओके रिहर्स करते हैं डन लाइनें होगी पर जब एक्चुअल टेक की बारी आई देन किंग खान बिकम द एक्टर किंग खान एंड आई वाज जस्ट लुकिंग एट हिम लाइक ओह शिट आई हैव सीन दिस फेस मिलियंस ऑफ टाइम्स एंड नाउ आई हैव बिकम द ऑडियंस मैं भूल गया कि मैं एक्टर हूं आई थिंक लाइफ में सिर्फ एक बार स्टार स्ट्रक हुआ हूं मैं उस आदमी ने मैं 10 सेकंड लेट चल रहा हूं <laughs> सब है फेस पे नहीं आ रहा है सब सब और फिर खान साहब को लगा कि उनको पता है चला पता है वो इतना बड़ा आदमी उनको पता चला जदे 5 मिनट का ब्रेक लो सब मैं तुम्हें बताता हूं कहानी में अभी तक हुआ क्या है तो तुम शायद बेटर रिलेट कर पाओगे उनको भी पता है मुझे कहानी से कोई लेना देना उनको पता है कि ये थोड़ा इसका सांस नॉर्मल करना पड़ेगा तब जाके ठीक होगा 5 मिनट का ब्रेक लिया सबने वो 5 मिनट 15 मिनट में तब्दील हो गई और वो बस बातें किए जा रहे थे उस बात चीज से यह हो गया कि मैं अब मेरा वो देखना नॉर्मल हो गया <laughs> उसके बाद एक टेक में सीन हो गया और फिर उन्होंने तीन दिन तक खिंचाई की मेरी इस बात <laughs> कि जहां भी तेरा तेरी एक्टिंग खराब होगी ना वो मेरी मेरा रिएक्शन हो जाएगा अगले तीन दिन मैंने जितनी कॉफी पी है उनकी और मैं जब इतना इतना एक्सपीरियंस आदमी आपके सामने हो ना मेरी आदत है मैं मैं फिर छोड़ता नहीं मैं सवाल पूछ रहे अगर उन्होंने मुझे वो कंफर्ट दे दिया तो और खान साहब के साथ आई एम श्योर जितने लोग भी मिले होंगे उनका सेम एक्सपीरियंस है कि वो आदमी आपको दुनिया का सबसे महत्वपूर्ण आदमी बना देगा जब तक आप उनके साथ हो आप ऐसे बिच जाओगे कि आप बस प्रभु आप ही हो इतनी सारी किस्से कहानियां उनके साथ उनके लाइफ को लेके और बहुत और मुखर होके बात करते हैं वो ऐसा नहीं कि मैं इतना बता दूं उतना नहीं दिल खोल के बात करते हैं तो वो तीन दिन जो चार दिन शूट के थे ब्रिलियंट एक्सपीरियंस है लाइफ का आई विश के कभी उनके साथ एक इतलाफ फेट <laughs> एक लंबा काम करने को मिला एक <laughs> फिल्म में जहां बट ही इज ही इज एन एक्सपीरियंस या जी शाहरुख खान सो इट्स वेरी इट्स समथिंग अगेन कुछ ऐसी चीजें होती हैं जो पर्सनल होती हैं जो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर हम कह देते हैं तो फिर वो अपनी नहीं रहती सो आई ट्राई टू प्रोटेक्ट एज मच एज आई कैन सो ही इज एक्ट सो दे आई टेल यू वॉट ऑल आई लर्न फ्रॉम हिम अपार्ट फ्रॉम सिंगिंग इन हाई स्पीड आई आई लर्न विच इज विच इज समथिंग दैट वन मस्ट लर्न फ्रॉम शाहरुख खान यू नो he can do that like nobody other um the other thing i learned from him was that he is a very giving actor he does not care about just his own dialogue or his scene or his performance believe me he cares about every single person in the frame and he says that he's like you know a film is made in totality 
He always used to say that. And he would, so yeah, there are so many things he, he told me. It was an experience really. I would sit with him. I'd ask him questions. I would ask him about the films that I liked him in, you know. Um, like Dilse and stuff like that. I would ask him, okay, did you also like yourself in that as much as we all liked you in that? Stuff like that. Um, another thing that I learned, I worked with someone who is supposedly, and he is, the biggest star that is there, supposedly. Yeah, apparently right? he's been he's the, the number one. He's the number one or second actor, most powerful actor. So, yeah, yeah. here he was, the most powerful actor, star, in front of me. And believe me, he was working harder than any one of us. So, so when, and you know the things that he does, like he stops for every selfie, he stops for his fans. So anytime I, I think about it, I feel that's my greatest treasure, mm -hmm. that I, I will stand there on set because I saw someone do it and I felt, I felt like I want to be like this. मजबूत आर का जो कैरेक्टर जो मैंने प्ले किया है कैरेक्टर इस बार इसका तीन है वो बहुत प्रोफेशनल भी है कोर्ट की जगह कोर्ट में बोल दिया सेंसिबिलिटी भी है उसके पास और जिसके पीछे वो पड़ा है उसको लाइक भी करता है वो वो अगर उसका बस चले वो शायद रईस को दोस्त बना ले शाहरुख भाई ने वो एक डिग्निटी कैरेक्टर को दी उन्होंने डे वन से मेंटेन किया उस चीज को और जिसकी वजह से मेरी परफॉर्मेंस जो है अच्छी बन पाई जिन सीन हो रहा था क्लाइमेक्स वाला जब मैं गोली मारता हूँ रईस के कैरेक्टर को धीरे धीरे वैन में से डिस्कशन करके निकल रहे हैं और धीरे धीरे एक पूरे जब खुल के आता है पूरा वो डेजर्ट में जाके खड़े हो जाते हैं और वहाँ पे डिस्कशन होता है तो एक अजीब से एक ट्रांस में चले गए तो तो वो जो चीजों को देख रहे थे तो देख के बिल्कुल ऐसे ऐसे डायलॉग बोलते हैं कि ये जगह ठीक रहेगी ना मारने के लिए मुझे मजमुदा साहब आई बस लग माइंड आउट इसको रिएक्ट में कैसे करूँ जब आंख से आंख मिली या मैंने देखा तो यू रिस्पेक्ट वो मैं फील कर सकता था। I think आठ फीट की दूरी पर खड़े थे वो। मैं फील कर सकता था उस रोहानियत को एक्चुअली अगर कहा जाए। I think वो बहुत अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस था। जब भी एसआर के के साथ में जो भी सीन किए, वो अलग ही एक्सपीरियंस था वो। ऐसा कनेक्शन हो गया था एसआरके के साथ मेरा एक टोन होती है वो पकड़ में आ गए थे हम दोनों के खाने की चाय पीने के खाने की चाय है पीने के आधा डाल दें बहुत ही दिल से काम किया उन्होंने इसमें इसमें जो उनकी परफॉर्मेंस निकल के आएगी वो लोग देखें कमाल कमाल हो जाएगा नाइस व्हाट समथिंग समी सेड दैट आई वांट � Something she said, I think. What was it? I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, that's all we've heard about. Um, heard about how giving he is. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's, selfless. Like I said, it's it's a wonderful thing that when you're the biggest star, there is. Um, that, and I I wonder if non actors know what a giving actor means. There's some people. It really threw me. I was in a class at Howard Fine a few years ago and somebody asked a question about generous actors yeah. and Howard said he didn't know what that is. And I, I, that boggled my mind because I've heard that parlance. I've heard that dis, uh, description of actors all my life. And I know what that personally is. You know what that personally yeah. is. A generous actor is somebody who is not, only thinking about their character, their scene, their shot, or what interests them. Generous actors are people who, and there's another aspect too, 
They're focused on you. They're focused on the totality of what's going on. They'll be there for the shot that's over the shoulder rather than have a stand-in because they want you to be able to looking at their eyes and their character. Yeah, it's nothing to do with acting in no. terms of like your performance. It's to do with it's, how they are and to like why they're not on camera. It's the collaborative spirit and them recognizing this isn't about me. It's about the whole. But it is also there are actors you work with who all they're interested in are their lines and their moments. And when they're working with you, they're not really listening. They're not improvising. Or if it's an over the cam camera shot, they're just standing there. Yeah. There, there are some actors that'll be doing the over camera shot and they're just looking at their phone and they're there versus someone who's actually engaged with you and doing the scene with you as if the camera was on them. Yeah. Because as, as actors, it's even though you have to do it and do it the exact same every single time because it's your job. So if the shot is like I've been in shots where. It's two people at a table, and now it's the other person's shot. And there's lighting panels, there's the camera, there's the DP holding the camera, there's the director, there's ADs, there's lights. And so there's like a tiny little sliver of the eye line where they could actually see me. And I would, and I felt like they would too, sit right there so they can act with looking at me. Because it's just, it's it's much, I don't want to say easier, it's just helpful to act while you're looking at somebody, especially it was an emotional scene, than looking at a piece of cloth. Yeah, and you don't have to be the lead actors to be a generous actor. No. For example, there's been many times where I was background on something. And I saw what they were doing in a setup for a shot and that there was a continuity error if they left it the way it was. Mm -hmm. The important thing in that moment is not to draw attention to yourself on, hey, look at me. I'm the one who recognizes the continuity error. If you care about what's going on, what you do is you go to the person who's the AD working with background and you go to them and you say, hey, I don't know that they picked up on it, but that wasn't there in the last shot. And then they go tell and you don't even get the it's not about you getting the credit. It's about the fact that you care about the process and the end product like every other person on set does. Yeah. And that's that's what – those are the people who work over and over again because they obviously care about the whole, not just themselves. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's all we've heard about Shavar Khan. Yeah. But it's it's wonderful that that's the actual um, real-life experience of other and I, actors. And I bet if you asked him – he would probably give you some examples of others he's seen, not just his own inherent personality, which I'm sure is a driving force, but it wouldn't surprise me if the days when he first got to work with Big B, Big B demonstrated that for him. And I'm sure he worked with people who did the opposite. And then he thought, I don't ever want to be like that. Well, the punctuality of Big B didn't rub off on SRK. Apparently. I don't think it rubbed <laughs> off on anybody. <laughs> Big B's like, I'm on time. My... Everybody's like, what's time? <laughs> Which is really, that's one of the wildest differences. And I have spoken with actors who've worked in both Hollywood and in Indian cinema. That's one of the big differences. Is that in Indian cinema, like most things with India, it's not on time by a long shot. If you're not on time in Hollywood, bye. Unless you're like Tom Cruise. Or, <laughs> you have to be. Right. You you're allowed, they, they mean, they can't have the production without you. But everybody else... If you're not on time, and I'm talking about everything, not just that you show up at the call time on your call sheet, but let's say you got your break and now you're sitting in a trailer or a honey wagon and they come to you and they got ready for the shot faster and they're waiting on you. Don't complain you didn't get the finish. Get on set. Yeah. Show up. Be sp And you're happy doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but always nice to yep. here. And obviously, Ray's, if you haven't seen our... I think we did a watch along of Ray's. I think we did too. Uh, please go watch it. Really enjoyed it. Ray's very underrated film of uh, one of SRK's best performances. One of performances his best performances in, by in, far. In, in his films. Yep. Uh, anything else you need to know? Down below. Josh!